Hello, this is James Smith at GANanalysis.net. Today we're talking about Brent crude futures. We're looking at the December contract. What I've done here, I have a one by one, the red line down from high. I'm using a scale of price unit, a scale of 0.5 points per week. So that's the scale. It drops that by that amount every week. Now, the slope of the green line, this is the one by two line. Um, this one is different. Let me get it. Uh, it's 0.25. So that's just half the scale of the first one. So we call that a one by two line. Now, <clears throat> you can't see today's price action because uh, this is an end of day chart. But when you when this updates later today, you'll see that oil is up here. You know, it's up at 77 area. Uh, got a 5% move up in oil today. Um, and it comes in sync with a cluster of cycles, 120 week cycle, that's 120 weeks down from high, 26 week cycle from low, 52 week cycle down from high, 75 week cycle from low. So it's not to say that uh, these are all GAN cycles, and it's not to say that they work every time, but when you get a cluster, you have a better chance that it's going to work. And even then, you don't trust it because you say, well, we don't know which way it's going to turn, but if it sells off into it, your probability is that it's going to rally. And even then, you're going to want to see evidence of a rally. So. 76.49 on the December contract, that is the 50% retracement. For GAN, the 50%, if you take any swing and divide it in half, that 50% retracement is the biggest support or resistance. So closing back above that is bullish. And if you do that in sync with a cluster of weekly GAN cycles, you got a time and price setup indicating a probable rally. So, um, Truth be told, we're looking at a weekly chart, so on a weekly basis, we have to wait until Friday's close to know that, hey, it closed up here. I mean, for all I know, it might come back down again. But assuming it closes up here somewhere, uh, 77, 78 area by the end of the week, maybe even higher, uh, chances are you're on your way, uh, not necessarily to new highs, but you're going to have a substantial rally. Part of it is the cycles, part of it is the breakout of the GAN resistance, the 50% mark. So when you combine the two, you have a better chance of a winning trade. Um, and I know, and you know, that, that nothing's bulletproof. So as many cycles as you can throw at it, you can still get it wrong. So trade with a stop loss. Um, I'm not telling you to buy or sell oil futures. I'm saying this is what the GAN stuff would indicate, and you can still get it wrong. So the circles show you where the 60-week uh, cycles have hit. Got a high here. That's where we anchored from up here. And then 60 weeks later, and then another 60, 120 down from high. If you go back, you got a low. Here you got a high and a low. It seems to be working. It doesn't work every time. But when you combine that with these other cycles, hey, maybe there's something, you know, maybe there's something going on here. Now, obviously, uh, at this point, people will be telling you, hey, well, you're just looking at it and, um, you know, retrofitting it because you're looking at uh, the fact that the Mideast is about to explode. Israel is going to retaliate. If they hit the Iranian oil facilities, tit for tat, you know, maybe the Iranians go after the Saudi oil fields. We don't know. But, you know, there could be a very high probability of an oil dis uh, disruption to the supply of oil in the Mideast. And if that happens, that explains why oil is up 5% and maybe up 10% tomorrow. Uh, it all depends on what happens. And the fundamentalists will wait for the event and... That's the difference. A technician will look at these cycles and say, hey, maybe, you know, mentally I'm a little prepared for something to happen because I can see these cycles. I know that there's a chance of a turn. And then when we get confirmation with a weekly close above 76.49, hey, we know 
there's a good chance it's going to go higher. Now, you can still argue, hey, maybe it stops at 90.77, the Fibonacci level, or maybe it stops up. We don't, you know, there's nothing to say that it has to go to new highs, but anyone who lived through 1973 and 1979 knows that, you know, it could potentially be a big deal. Um, you know, you, you cannot imagine, if you haven't lived through it, um, just how fast the price of oil can go up in real time. You know, before you, before you even look around, suddenly you're looking at $10 a gallon for uh, when you go to the gas pump. You know, it, it can happen. So um, just warning you that we're watching this. We think that these cycles indicate uh, a turn up and, and, and we'll have to qualify it as we go. We'll have to see how it does relative to these other resistance levels. And uh, these are not the only resistance levels. In my reports, I cover a whole range of resistance levels and we go from one to the next and qualify whether it's going to be a big move up or a small move up. Um, so I hope this has been helpful. Uh, if you're interested, register to the website and you'll get a couple of free reports. Uh, you click on categories. The first item on the list is free reports. And there's, you know, dozens and dozens of categories. But the first one is free reports. That's the only one you can access as a registered user. To, to access the other categories, you have to become a client. But at any rate, it gives you a chance to look at some of the stuff I've written. Um, if you want to see what it is that we do, go ahead, register, check out some of those free reports. I think it's time well spent. Good luck in your trading. I hope this has been helpful. If you like this, give us a like um, and follow us on Twitter, uh, YouTube and uh, LinkedIn, you know, and, and you'll be up to date on whatever we come out with. So thanks a lot for your time. Good luck in your trading.